This website takes forever. Jeez, the lag in this game's rubbish. All I get is the wheel of death. Why? We, we pay, pay for, for mega fast broadband. broadband. Wait, buying more bandwidth doesn't fix delay. To explain, we need to show that bandwidth and delay are two different things. A bus can move many people, but slowly. It has great bandwidth. A Formula One car can move one person, but really fast. Low bandwidth, but high speed. If the goal is to move just one person, the Formula One car always wins. So bandwidth is how much data you can move in a given amount of time. Delay, or latency, is the time it takes to complete a stage of a task. If there are only a few bits of data to move, most of the weight is for the first bit. The time it takes for the rest of the bits becomes pretty irrelevant. Often, you only need to transport one simple thing really fast, like a Formula One car. A chat message is like that. Some activities, like watching a video, do need bandwidth for all the data, but the lag jumping forward or back or switching channels is not fixed with bandwidth alone. In other cases, like playing a game, each action needs to complete within a minimal amount of time. But if more bandwidth doesn't fix delay, what is the problem? Well, there's one problem we can't fix. The speed of light. When data travels across the internet, it moves as light in a fibre. The time it takes a signal to cross the Atlantic and back is about a twentieth of a second. Huh? But it often takes several seconds, so that can't be the only problem. The extra delay is not just due to the time it takes light to travel. There are three main problems that combine with the basic delay caused by the speed of light. Pay attention. There will be a test at the end. First, all the hundreds of junctions in the internet that your data passes through are designed to absorb or buffer short, excessive bursts of activity. Unfortunately, these buffers have become bloated and, due to an oversight, they stay full the whole time data is being transferred. There is a neat fix that keeps queues short instead, but it's taking ages to convince the internet industry that it's as important as more bandwidth. Second, before you can interact, your device and the computer at the other end need to agree on how to talk to each other. For instance, if you need to secure your communication. The delay of all these back and forth messages is compounded by the speed of light problem and the long queues problem. Third, before getting up to speed, your computer has to start out very slowly and speed up gradually. Before every rate increase, it has to wait for the other end to confirm that the last increase wasn't too much. This is necessary as the network's capacity is shared between users, and it's impossible to know how much traffic other users will send in the next moment. Right, now that we're experts on the sources of delay, we can get the whole picture. If delay only depended on light speed, web pages would always be fast, but your traffic may have to wait in a big queue for chatter between machines for acceleration that's why more bandwidth alone won't solve the delay problem researchers are helping to change the internet so that delay will be near zero and always near zero no more worldwide wait no more random hangups hang no, no more lag, more lag. Once even the risk of delay is a thing of the past, a surgeon will have enough confidence in the internet to do remote surgery using just a tablet. And we will enjoy apps that we haven't even imagined yet. All fueled by the possibilities of stable, low-latency communication. <laughs>